Next at 6, the Government Accountability Board makes a decision allowing all college students statewide to use their student IDs to vote. But the decision may not be final. News 3 political reporter Jessica Arp explains. I question the intent of singling out these students compared to these ones. Alan Irish was one of many tech college students testifying before the Government Accountability Board, asking why his current Madison College ID wouldn't work to vote, but his former UW-Madison ID would. I really don't understand the reasoning behind treating these cards differently. Because these are the same student in the same state, the same citizen. Tech College has argued a previous decision by the GAB should be overturned. It's unfair. Basically, we feel that you, uh, it's like a separation between the technical colleges and the uh, UW colleges or the, or, the four, or the traditional colleges, you should say, but we're all receiving the same education. The GAB ultimately agreed. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. And say now that tech college IDs can be included. You don't hear that from judges very often, say we are wrong. <laughs> Which may be why they voted to stick to another decision that others were worried about. But please, uh, as you consider what you need to put into their uh, cards, consider the issues of security and integrity. The board had said universities and colleges could use stickers to make students' IDs compliant. And despite the board's director's advice to the contrary, and lawmakers who have said they're concerned stickers aren't secure, left the decision alone. I think we should leave the sticker as is and do the best we can, maybe through a rule to make certain that it can be secure and, and not easily duplicated. I don't know if we're going to be directed to do emergency rules. My sense is we might. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, the next stop is a conversation with the chairs of the committee. The committee he's referring to there is the Joint Committee on Administrative Rules, and it is likely to ask the GAB to formally make rules related to those stickers. That rulemaking process could take some time, and universities and colleges are anxious for direction on what to do with their IDs. And Jess, what if the GAB makes a rule that this committee doesn't agree with, doesn't well, like? Of course, they could strike out portions of that rule at their discretion, which is exactly what they recently did with portions of the concealed carry rules. Well, good to know. Thanks, Jess.